Hello everyone. This is my third video, method three of adding a hard drive into a Linux device or Unix device. Uh, it's basically simulating using a USB booting it up using the gparted tool to partition the disk and add it into the system. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm using VMware Workstation, so one of the caveats there, you have to, you know, have VMware Workstation boot into the DVD. And changing the boot order is not, I had to look that up, it's not, you know, well known. Let's just first start off with uh, some basics here. First thing I would do is you go here to settings, so here's the, the drive with the Linux 20.1. Here's the new drive that I added. Here's the CD. I want to use an ISO boot to uh, say Ubuntu and and save. Now, if I boot here without changing that disk priority, it's just going to boot into Linux Mint. So, in order to resolve that, you use the right click. The machine needs to be off. The right click, and then you go to power, and then you get the power on to firmware. It powers on the firmware. There, that's basically a basic BIOS. You move to the boot order and then you change the CD-ROM to a higher priority of uh, the hard drive. Then you save and ex exit and save changes and it'll boot into into Ubuntu. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause the video in a second and let it boot into it and then once it's booted and we're going to continue from that moment on. Here it is. Go. Okay, everyone, it's booted into uh, Ubuntu. So it has it installed. The next mint's done. So, a way to go in Ubuntu to get to gparted, you hit activities, type in g, uh, q, g part. Should be the first one. Comes up. And it basically goes here. So. So now we're going to go to a mini tutorial on gparted. I mean, it sees the drive. We added a new drive. And we get that from right here. So this is totally unallocated space. And this is the one we're going to be working with. I'm not going to go into too much there. But first thing you got to do is you got to create a partition table. So, you know, go to device, create partition table. Now, MS-DOS is good for now. But, I mean, it's good for devices that have uh, two terabyte hard drives or less. If you want to use uh, anything over, use GPT. And there's other, also, uh, partition tables you can utilize. I'm going to use GPT. Because most of my drives are over two terabytes in size. And then, once that's done, you can create a new partition. Now you can either use the whole partition, which signifies hair, and if you want to change the size, you can do it two ways. One, you can do it through here, and then I'll change the size. Or you can use this sliding scale and kind of go up and down, so forth. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna say my, I mean, it has like a primary partition only available in GPT, so what I'm gonna do here is just gonna type this first and then label first one add doesn't really do too much and I got all this unallocated space I'm going to add another and this is for the, all the remainder of the unallocated space I'm going to use the slider and kind of like put like half of it 
We'll call this second. And second one. I'm both using ext4 because this is Linux. You can use other file systems. And then still remainder, go to a new partition, use the remainder. So this is the th three. There's one megabyte of disk space that's available. There's nothing in this ripped in, so there's nothing here that's actually viable, but you can still, uh, you know, play around with this. Like right here, I'm gonna use this one and say, I don't want this one anymore. I can delete it, remove it, return that space. Go here, and if I want to resize or move this one, I can use the sliding slayer or the new size or or uh, free space proceeding you know so let's resize the move it takes up the host drive and i still don't like that one so let's go back to and just delete that one and i'm kind of like going to go back to showing you okay what I came here to really do going to resize move we don't want to use the whole do space oh wow i can move this anywhere i want kind of uh move that the whole whole resize move takes up the whole space but one meg and client format format to ext4 and now you have to apply all operations so that's basically applying this it's kind of created for me let's take a look at this format name partition name partition first and label file system new uid And you get some information. You got the other device information. You can check. <coughs> so this is dev slash stp and it's GTP table, heads, sectors, tracks, cylinders, so forth. The next thing I would want to do is essentially power off the device. Now you can restart it, but it's gonna, you know, I mean, but without going to a different boot order, so you need to change the boot order back to go back to your original drive. So I'm gonna say power off, and it's basically gonna turn this off. Please remove the insulation and press enter. So make sure the insulation media, media is not there. And it's done. You can go back, power, power on the firmware. I hope this is working. Power on the firmware. with the hard drive up there save and exit changes should boot up into Linux Mint now again this is going back to method one and two basically I mounted the drive but I'm we have mounted the drive as root so you know the only pre person that can write to the disk will be root so you need to change the ownership or and permissions to allow people to write to the drive 
Otherwise, only people that can, only one that can ac access the drive is root. Type in the right password. <sighs> Here we go. Now, if you use Nemo, so let's go to Nemo. You can see the drive here. Mount and open. So it's not actually mounted at this point in time, it looks like. So let's go check the disk, which is from the first method. This is the drive. It does it's not mounted. Now this is where, you know, this basically is just going back to method one. You can do all the same stuff here. But uh you know, or you can use method two. But uh let's just go right here and then you can edit the mount options. I like to put it somewhere where I can actually find it and with uh actual name. So let's just go use uh C D docs. ls there's something there make directory which is your mount point make directory uh, say disk or drive one ls cd drive one pwd and I'm going to take this and basically mark this right here. So this is the mount point right here. Paste. And if I really wanted to, I'm going to leave the identify as because the UUID is uniquely identifiable and I'm going to not change the permissions here but I could but I'm going to make it easier for everyone so now it's still not mounted so now you mount it it's going to show up here and we're going to show up in the documents right here but because this was the mount root, you won't have any permission to do anything here, so you have to actually change the permissions. So let's go back to here, to the command line. And sudo ch change ownership to my user colon and my users group yeah and then the path type in the permissions and so now if I go back to the documents in the drive, I should be able to write a folder. And we're up and running. And if you go back to disk, it's mounted there. DXT4 version 1, UUID, and it's the device location. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so, call that a 